on World AIDS Day, different organizations share a focus on getting to zero. What this means is we have a goal to ensure that we get the numbers of new infections, the numbers of people dying from HIV AIDS, uh, numbers of the stigmatization, discrimination, everything that concerns HIV AIDS to zero. So that's where Southern Africa Embrace Foundation comes in. We fundraise money to help the marginalized communities that we work with, in particular in Zimbabwe and in Swaziland. Our resources come in the, set in the form of educating communities that we've come to work with around the issues of HIV AIDS. We do our small part to, to get to that number of zero. Women in, in Sub-Saharan Africa are part of the largest number of people with new infections and people living with HIV AIDS. Men and women should be working together in, in the fight. It, it goes both ways. I believe education is vital in this area. I find that when women are educated, then we're able to make better life choices, better life decisions about our health. It goes the same for men. Most Sub-Saharan African countries, they are the ones that have the voice. They are the ones that are, in, are, the, are the leaders in the family. They are the ones who actually make sexual decisions. So I believe that men and women can come together and share information. The better educated the communities get, the better it will be for change to start happening. We hope that governments will be more open to helping people when it comes to the disease. We hope that people will get more educated on the issue because when education is there, then we know that we were able to eradicate the stigmatization and the discrimination. Yeah, I hope that in 15 years time we can talk again on Skype and we'll be talking about an HIV or AIDS free world and for people to have access to treatment. And as an activist, that's really what I hope for on a daily basis with my heart and my soul, encourage people to visit, encourage people to travel because traveling opens up your mind, it opens up your soul, it opens up your eyes. It's quite sad that media gives all the scrutiny and all they report on is the best stuff. So I just want people to know that it's a very wonderful region, very vibrant, very rich in resources, filled with wonderful, wonderful people.